Hello, hello, hello. My name is Gavin Panu. Welcome to M Trading's uh, webinar. So this is more about market analysis. So we'll do uh, technical analysis. We'll look into fundamentals. Uh, but today I'm going to go into uh, specific uh, M Trading uh, webinar uh, based on the platform. So we're going to have a better understanding on how to use this platform. Um, okay, so before we start off going into um, the platform, so the current platform we use is the MT4. Uh, MT4 is uh, the most used trading platform there is. So 90% of traders will use MT4 platforms. And even institutional banks, uh, some of the large institutional banks will still currently use MT4 platform. But in addition to the MT4 platform, there is a, uh, an, uh, an upgrade which is called MT4 Supreme Edition. So that's the one that I'm going to cover with you. Uh, it has some great tools that we can use to better understand the markets, better better understand our analysis. Um, yep, so, so we'll go into that also. But before I go into that, it's good to do sort of a, uh, a roundup of what's been taking place over the, uh, from the weekend. And in addition to that, what we have up and coming. So let's go on to M Trading's website, guys. Uh, I use M Trading's website uh, to give me a better understanding on their economic events. Yep. So we'll just go through the website, and I'm looking for high impact news. Uh, the ones in red with the three red dots there, that is seen as high high impact news. The ones in uh, orange, two bars there, those are uh, medium and a single. The ones in green are seen as more of a low impact news. So. We'll start off with, uh, from this uh, morning we had for the euro balance of trade, uh, the actual was 20, point, uh, 20 billion, yep, so 20 billion euros uh, for their, uh, their actual forecast, uh, from the forecast to their actual, uh, from their previous was the 19.6 billion. Um, okay, in addition to that, you're looking at sterling news here. So at 9.30 this morning, we had sterling news, the balance of trade. Uh, again, this was uh, high impact news, as you can see from uh, the key relevance uh, indicator there. Uh, and it was below the forecast. So the forecast was set at minus 2.8 billion and the actual was minus 5.63 billion. So a significant draw there. Uh, hence why you'd see more of a negative impact in sterling this morning. Okay, uh, moving on from there, uh, so we could see data wise, uh, other than those two high impact news, it's pretty light. Yep, so we've got very light news all the way through, so nothing to be worried about. I'd say uh, uh, Kashkari speech, yep, so wa watch out for hawkish and dovish tone. It's extremely important when you hear speeches from whether it's heads of central banks, uh, from prime ministers and presidents, uh, you want to have an idea of what is their tone, what is their to tone, is it hawkish or dovish. So hawkish generally means an aggressive stance on the economy and they're looking to increase their interest rates, uh, whereas dovish is seen as more of a uh, conservative a conservative view uh, on the economy, uh, they're uh, likely to view their indicators to have a better uh, better judgment of what, could, uh, what they could uh, potentially implement. Uh, whether it's stimulus or any other policies, uh, but in addition to that, it's also lowering interest rates. Yep. Okay, so we'll move on from there. What do we have for tomorrow? Tomorrow, uh, as you can see, mostly low impact news. Yep. So uh, let's just go. Okay, so let me just filter some of this. So in addition to that, guys, it depends on what kind of news you're trading. Yep. So if you're specific to say the euro, uh, you may want to stick with just the major major uh, countries. Yep. So the major countries will be seen as uh, uh, the US dollar, the euro, sterling, the yen, uh, and so on, Aussie dollar and Kiwi dollar. So the G8 currencies is what I'm referring to. Uh, all the rest, will that have a significant impact to your particular market? Maybe not. Yep. So, therefore, do go through this list and have a better understanding of where, which countries do you need to focus on to have that relevant information that you need fundamentally uh, to come up to your trade idea and do your technical analysis. Okay, so that's the filter for from the Forex calendar. Uh, we've also got broke down the calendar for the day. Uh, next key point I'll say is, uh, what else do I like to do? 
fundamental analysis. Yep. So uh, fundamental analysis is telling me uh, the effect that's taken place in the market. So I have a better understanding of uh, uh, what are uh, the issues in the market and how did the market move to this point uh, from one level to another level uh, from this fundamental news. Yep. So uh, just looking back through uh, the blog here, so you can see an active trading day to entertain investors. So this gives you an idea of what dollar is doing. So you can see that dollar has been very positive most recently. Uh, so an increase in dollar strength there. Uh, previous to that, you're looking at more economic calendar. Uh, and the economic calendar was weak purely from we had uh, holidays in the US, in Japan. Um, so, yeah, so a number of holidays there. So, yeah, please do go through this fundamental analysis um, um, breakdown blog uh, on M Trading's website. That'll give you a better indication of what markets are moving, what markets are quiet, uh, what are the um, a traders' uh, views and sentiments. Yep. Okay, in addition to that technical analysis. So, um, M Trading provides a lot of technical analysis for you guys. I mean, just have a look at this. This is uh, today's, so it's extremely rele relevant. Uh, so it's done a technical outlook for the euro dollar, cable, Aussie dollar, and Kiwi dollar. So some of the major currencies there. So if you're looking for key levels of support and resistance, uh, if you want to know uh, where do uh, where are those major trend lines, add this to your technical analysis. Yep, so this can be used as a guide. But in addition to that, if all you're looking for is those key levels, this is perfect. Technical talk. So it's giving you uh, your support levels and resistance levels, yep. uh, whether the trend is up or down, significant. This is extremely sig significant in you understanding what the markets are doing. Okay, so let's move back to the charts. Yep. So go back to the charts. Okay, <clears throat> so um, the first part of uh, the Supreme Edition. So the first part of Supreme Edition, it ha I would say it has many upgrades, it has many add-ons that you can look at to give you a better indication of which markets do I want to trade. Uh, the first, I would say, is the correlation matrix. So let me just add that to the charts. Okay, this is what we have here. So this is the correlation matrix. So this is two live markets. Yep, so there is a slight lag because this is based on closing prices and there is going to be a slight delay, but this is generally used for live market analysis. So uh, it can be used for any time frame. So it's depending on what time frame you're viewing your, uh, your trading style, whether it's more as a position trader, so that's holding positions for longer, uh, a week plus. Um, if you're a more of a swing position, then uh, swing trader, as they call it, uh, that's seen more as a person that opens and closes a position within a week, so Monday to Friday. They do, they're not looking for that over weekend sort of risk, weekend risk. Yep. Uh, and as a day trader, so a day trader doesn't want any weekend risk and he does not want any uh, um, overnight risk. So therefore, all of his positions will open and close within one day. So make this relevant to you guys. Uh, what, what I would say is look at the time frame you access your sort of trading style and how you go about your process. You can look at the daily time frame all the way down to the one minute chart. Yep. So uh, we can put up say one minute chart. We're going to look at the last uh, 200 bars. You can even go last 500 bars. You can go up to 1000 bars to give you a better indication. Yep. So this is showing you how much correlation is there between these currencies. So straight away you'll know that, okay, there's this much, this amount of correlation. For example, if we're looking at cable, so cable, GBP, USD with Euro dollar, GBP, USD with Euro dollar, that's 78 positive correlation. So that's a plus being positive correlation. So they both are likely to move in the same direction 78% of the time. Yep. And to show you a inverse correlation, so this one here, so dollar CAD, so dollar CAD with cable, yep, so GBP USD, and that's a negative correlation of 46. So therefore, that is likely to go in the opposite direction to each other, 46% uh, of the time. There are other uh, assets which are a lot more correlated. So for example. Dollar Swiss franc with cable. So these two pairs will be in inverse correlation, so move in the opposite direction 87% of the time. So it's extremely strong. Yep. Uh, with euro dollar, so euro dollar and dollar uh, Swiss franc, uh, the correlation is even more significant at being 90% inverse correlated. 
Yep. So guys, do look into this uh, this particular um, tool. It's extremely beneficial in understanding uh, what the correlations are between the market. And this is live markets. Yep. So this is to the live markets. So these numbers will change. They will change depending on the amount of periods or how many bars you're looking. So how many candlesticks you're going to view uh, in addition to the time frame. One added benefit which I uh, use on a daily basis is the the fact that just pick out what I'm what I'm looking for. If I'm looking for the strong uh, correlations, that and I put it up on here, that would highlight all the strong correlations. So it filters out uh, the assets that I would not be interested in, and just keep the view on the ones that I'm interested in. So this. This is extremely beneficial. You could do it to just strong currencies. You could do it to just uh, strong or medium. You could do weak or none. You could do uh, weak or medium. So it depends on what you're looking for. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So uh, correlation matrix is extremely helpful in defining uh, where these assets are moving. So first we go over the economic calendar. So we go over the economic calendar to have a better understanding of what's going to be taking place today, which assets should I be focusing on if I'm looking for volatility, but if I want to stay away from the fundamentals and not be involved in those volatility, which markets I, I can look at for a potential trade setup. Then you go into your technicals. So look at the technical sort of, uh, look at M Trading's technical page and have a better understanding of what those key levels are and then do your own analysis as we've spoken about in our many prior webinars. Yep, so we've done a lot of technical analysis work guys and we're still going to do more. Yep, so this is just an ongoing process. Yep. So uh, yeah, uh, once you've done your technical analysis then look at correlation because correlation helps in not being over risked in a trade. So the last thing you want to do is take, for example, if I'm long, say, um, let's go with GBP, USD, and also I'm long Euro Dollar. So if the, if Euro Dollar uh, goes against me, it's more than likely that cable will also go against me. So instead of risking one percent uh, in a trade, I'm now down two percent because I've taken a correlated pair of assets. Yeah, so extremely important, and that works in the inverse side also. So, uh, for example, if I'm looking at euro dollar and Aussie, uh, let's go with dollar cad. Yeah, so euro dollar and dollar cad. So if I took a long position with euro dollar and I take a uh, uh, a short position with dollar cad, because they're inversely correlated, therefore, uh, if they go in the other direction, I will be stopped out. Yep, and they are likely to go in the opposite direction anyway, 79% of the time, as we can see, so minus 79. So therefore, that would not be wise. So this will help me limit the trade setups that I, that I have and also look for the ones that have the higher probability. So that is the benefit of using the correlation matrix, guys. Extremely efficient, guys. Uh, please do access this uh, on the MT4 Supreme Edition. Okay, so let's move on from there. Um, in addition to that, there are other tools. Um, I've just covered correlation uh, matrix. Uh, another uh, benefit will be the trading terminal. So using the trade terminal gives you a better indication of what the markets are doing. So it shows me a tick up. So these are the tickers what you would view in institutional banks. Institutional banks will be viewing these tickers and have an, and they know what the uh, the bid and the ask price is. They know what the buy and sell price is. So they'll be looking at these assets and just monitoring these prices. And at the same time, may have additional charts um, on separate screens where they do their technical analysis. It, remember, guys, key numbers. So round numbers and key numbers are those psychological barriers. Yep. So those are key points to also watch out for. So just looking at uh, these uh, particular assets with just their prices gives you a better feel of what these assets are doing. I mean, on a daily basis, uh, I speak to my uh, students and I speak to my uh, trade colleagues and so on, and we talk about numbers all the time. We sp speak about numbers all the time. So the first thing in the morning, the first thing we said was, okay, w w what are these assets doing and where are these assets? What is the current prices? And uh, WTI Brent, uh, sorry, WTI crude oil uh, happened to be at 49.98. 49.98. I'm like, one minute, that's close to the 50 level. Let's have a quick look on the charts. Let's see if there's any potential rejection at that 50 level being a significant round number, a psychological barrier. 
So, yep, keep an eye on things like this, guys. It's extremely important to have a better uh, awareness of these key numbers that go in line with the charts. It's very easy to just look at the charts and um, not even not even look at these numbers. Yep, so not even remember that, oh, whoa, that this, this point over here, we're almost to the 126 level. So this high almost reached the 126 level. So therefore, that's a, a very strong level. Next time it gets to 126 level, there is a likelihood that it could get rejected as it has done previously. Yep, so uh, these levels do matter, guys. These price levels do matter. But yes, do look at the trade terminal. Uh, just by putting this, uh, you can add your positions to this also, guys. You can add your positions to this uh, to, uh, um, so what you would do is, the first thing I want to say is go into settings, undock the terminal. So undock this terminal so you have this as a separate window to the MT4 platform. So therefore, you can have this on a, uh, in the background, you can have this on the side, you can adjust it how you want to do it. Yep, so you can adjust it exactly how you prefer it. And the benefit is I have multiple screens over here, uh, so therefore I can move it from one screen to another screen. Yep. Um, so. Uh, I would view this on a daily basis. This is sort of where I focus my main screen. So my main screen, where my focus is most of the time, that is where I see these prices. Um, okay, and the added benefit is that generally what I tend to do is if I'm short-term trading and I've got a particular strategy that I'm employing at, the, uh, at that current time and I'm looking for these opportunities to take place in certain markets, I will have my uh, uh, my tickets, so my um, my um, actual levels, so my actual uh, stop loss placement, my take profit placement, my trailing stop loss, the amount of lots I'm looking to enter the trade at, uh, so what I'm looking to risk, I would have that all preset, all preset, and the only thing I'll be keeping an eye on is the actual number. So I'll be looking at the sell and buy price and the bid, uh, sorry, the spread. Yep, so spread is key, guys. Spread is extremely important. So keeping on the spread and making sure it's not too high. Uh, we all have to pay uh, a commission, guys. That's part of trading. Yep, so you're paying amount of commission. Yep. The idea is if you're if you're viewing your, uh, that as a commission and you know that the commission level is going to be around this level, then therefore, yep, yeah, and take the trades. But if there's an extremely volatile period, for example, on Friday, uh, we had non-farm payrolls. Non-farm payrolls, uh, the number that was meant, uh, the range that we had was, uh, I think it was around 55 to around 80K. So uh, there was expecting uh, employment change around 50,000 to 80,000 uh, in the US. Uh, but the actual numbers came out at a negative. So it was a negative 53. So therefore it showed significantly less people actually change jobs uh, than expected. And that was due to the hurricane that's been taking place. Yeah, so the hurricanes uh, that we've seen uh, that's taken place in the last couple of months uh, and has had a extremely uh, sort of destruction um, uh, uh, on parts of uh, parts of the US, uh, that has limited the numbers of uh, of job changes. So therefore, therefore, uh, another key point I want to mention is because this was already known that okay, this has happened. A significantly large uh, sort of act of God is known as part of Dow theory. So a surprise factor such as a hurricane has come and hit into um, specific parts of the US um, that uh, was already uh, after the fact been priced into the job role, uh, job payrolls. So that's already been priced into job payrolls. Therefore, even though it was a significant difference and it was a massive downturn, so it's a massive decrease, you know, the actual market itself didn't move as much. So you saw a slight movement, but generally when you hear of a difference like this, you would see a significant move taking place with the dollar. And that did not take place purely because it, traders expected this. The traders expected, the, expected weak numbers. Yep, so that's the anticipation, the sentiment behind it, guys. And yep, um, okay, so moving on from there. <clears throat> yep, so go through your trading terminal. Have a better understanding of these ticket terminals. You can place your trades based on this. You can keep an eye on your, uh, on your spread. You know how many stop, uh, how far you want your stop loss in pips, uh, take profit, your trading stop loss, and lot size. So I use this tool. It's extremely beneficial to my trading. So yep, look into this, guys. Okay, let me add 
Uh, another part, which is if, um, if we have enough time, let me just quickly go into. Um, okay, so I'm looking at this asset right here now. Yep. So this is asset I'm looking at currently, uh, and an added benefit to um, the Supreme Edition. So MT4 Supreme Edition, edition is the mini terminal. So I can place a mini terminal, and that's a box such as this. Yep. So box such as this, uh, just like our. Uh, um, just like our actual trade terminal. So this is a trade terminal box that's come up with our buy and sell price, shows us a spread, the lot size, uh, the stop loss amount, take profit amount, and trading stop loss. So you can have this on each and every chart. If you just go into the settings, you can also undock uh, this particular, you can undock this terminal and place this on charts if you have multiple screens. Yep, so that's the added benefit. Okay, so uh, let me, I'll, I'll just close the whole uh, mini terminal let's open that up again right so um, what I generally tend to do I'll have it on each and every single chart also so every single chart on the top left corner I will have this there just to keep so that I can keep an eye on if I need to enter a trade uh, at a fast rate so I want to be in the trade as soon as I sort of I want to just click the enter button and I want to be in a trade or click a button on the mouse and I would just want to be in the trade this is what you need to you need to use yep so it has all the information there. It has all the information there, and the added benefit is if you're looking at having an order preset. So, for example, if we're looking to, uh, we're expecting this to continue to uh, be bullish. Yep. So, even though the most recent price section has moved down, so most recent price section has moved uh, down. Uh, what I would be looking to do is wait for. Um, so, let me just highlight this on. Yeah, so I have this trend line in place from this low up to this low. We don't have three touches, guys, so it's not really a confirmed trend line. I may place a counter trend line above these highs, for example, wait for price action to test this level. If it tests this level and rejects because in this direction, that is potentially a sell position for me. If we break above it, that could be a buy position for me. So I'm looking for a buy position uh, through this level here. So I'm looking for a buy position in this zone here. Yeah, so that's my area to look to for a buy. So I can look at the uh, mini terminal. You can place those orders. Uh, you can get into the market currently. So you can get in the market at the current price, but also you can set pending orders. Yep, so you can set pending orders. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail. I'll go into detail about pending orders. And there's two types. There. There's a uh, stop order and a limit order. We can talk about that. Also in the next webinar, we will talk about OCOs and OCA, um, additional market orders. Uh, sorry, uh, pending order, sorry. So, but now I'm just going to show you a market order. So simple, uh, looking to get into the trade now. Uh, I'm going to, let me just delete some of this analysis. Uh, so let's start again. So I'm assuming that, okay, we've hit this level, we're going to bounce off this level, we're looking uh, at a bullish move in that direction. Uh, this has been the most recent low and below this trend line, so a stop loss ideally in this area. Target, I could potentially look for a target back to where we had this level here. So target will be at this point here. So first thing I want to do is look at the risk reward. Yep, so stop loss down to this level from where current mar market price is, and that's where my target is. So risk reward is good. So it's, it's more than a one-to-one -one risk reward. So the next key point I'd say is what I want to do is check my ticket order. So my ticket order, I need to know how far I'm, uh, am I from the trade and so on. So just looking at this cross here tool. So from this cross here tool, I look at current price and I take it down to uh, where I want to place my stop loss. And I can see my stop loss is about 172 pips. It's the number in the middle, guys. That's 172 pips. And my potential target is, we're looking at uh, 288. Yep. So just by that, I can just put in uh, my stop loss. Yep. So just to confirm it with you guys, so from here to there, it's a, uh, we'll go with 170 pips. So stop loss of 170. And for my take profit, take it from where market is currently up to my target, which is 295. So my take profit's at 295. And I know the risk reward is good, so therefore I can look to take the trade. But how much am I risking on this trade? I hear you asking. <laughs> so um, the amount that you're risking, it's based on your parameters, how far your stop loss is and how fast your take profit is. So what I would do is, uh, if you click on the lots, but before you click on the lots, if you hold down control, so hold down control as it says, as this has been highlighted, use the control plus click the calculator.
later button. So click on this bit, and that brings this up. So it knows that my stop loss is 170 pips. I have 10,000. 10,000 US dollars in this account, uh, I want to place it by percentage of my equity. So I'm looking to risk 1% of my equity, which means that lots wise, I can risk 0.02. But if you're looking to risk a 3% uh, of your equity, you'll change that to 0.22. That's the amount that I'm risking. Yep. So once I've done that, you can set those lots. So you set that lots, and then you click on buy and then you can confirm this order so you can confirm this order press buy and there we go we're in yep so that's been entered into the market uh, so we have a better understanding of how to get into a trade guys in addition to that I do want to add a couple of things so next key point is uh, the specifics are have a look at this uh, this this box here so when you click on this box here to close your position you click on this close order Yep, so you click on the close order and this will better define uh, exactly where you've um, where you've entered so you know where your entry is you know where your stop loss is you know where your take profit is and so on yep so you have a better understanding of these numbers um, so if you want to close the order you can close it right now you're only losing uh, 299 yep so that's your current uh, net profit loss. Yep. So, yep, yeah, that's how the market is currently, guys. So, this is our current trade. We're in the market uh, looking for a potential long position in this. This is based on random analysis, guys. We haven't gone into a detailed analysis as of yet. It's more of an explanation using the MT4 Supreme Edition. So, just to do a recap, guys, the process, look at the economic calendar, guys. Look at fundamental news. Uh, look at technical news, all on M Trading's website. It's all available there. In addition to that, on the chart itself, use MT4 Supreme Edition. It adds so many benefits to your trading. Yeah, it is 100% worth it. So we went through correlation matrix of knowing which assets are correlated and how they're correlated, whether they're positive, positively correlated or inversely correlated. And maybe if I have time on the uh, uh, next webinar, I'll also cover manual currency calculations, so how to work out uh, how, which currency is strong, which currency is weak. Um, okay. And in addition to that, we've spoken about the actual trade terminal and the mini terminal. And in defining a market order, so getting into the market at the current price, how you'd enter uh, basing with good, good risk management. So knowing where your correct stop loss is placed by a technical reason, so a technical reason. So a technical reason for your stop loss, a technical reason for your entry, and a technical reason for your target. Then you check your risk reward as we have here. Then you set up your ticket order to the amount you're looking to risk on this trade. And that's how it is, guys. Okay, thank you for listening to the M Trading webinar, guys. Uh, apologies for the delay. Uh, but yeah, have a good afternoon. Take care. Bye-bye.